Officials telling NBC News there were over 200,000 illegal crossings at the southern border last month, and a record 3 million migrants crossed the border in the last year. Mayor Eric Adams blaming the federal government for leaving the city to pick up the tab on the migrant crisis. Now it's popping off with everybody out there in YouTube land. Uncle Nick's reporting for Dute, and I got a few things to address. You know what I'm saying? I want to address this border situation, and I got a little PS say for all these illegal immigrants coming up to New York City seeking shelter and asylum. You know what I'm saying? Let's establish something off the bat, son. You know what I mean? I hope you motherfuckers are listening up clearly. New Yorkers don't owe you a goddamn thing at the end of the day. That's number one. You know what I'm saying? What's number two is uh, we didn't mind initially helping the families that were coming up here seeking asylum. You know what I'm saying? But at this point, this shit has reached a climax. It's over 200,000 motherfuckers that have come up here to New York City in the last year, year and a half that are looking for a new life, you know what I'm saying? And the majority of these motherfuckers are young males that can't work, you know what I'm saying? They're not going to school, they're not providing anything of substance for uh, society, New Yorkers, there's nothing beneficial for us, and they're not providing anything in the economy, you know what I'm saying? Because they can't produce anything. So what are they doing? They're out here committing crimes in motherfucking broad daylight. These niggas are off the hogs, huh? They're beating up the cops, they're doing this, they're doing that. If you been following the stories, you know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, law-abiding, tax-paying citizens are footing the bill. This shit is in the billions. By 2024, we're gonna be up to like $12 billion taking care of these people, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, this is uh, something we can't sustain, you know what I mean? This is really ludicrous at the end of the day. This is tomfoolery. This is poppycock. This is some bullshit. And number three, most New Yorkers are done with this immigration situation in the sense of providing aid and help. You know what I'm saying? The American dream isn't about coming to the United States and getting free welfare, free cell phones, uh, hot cooked meals, debit cards, everything provided for you, and hotels and shelter and apartments indefinitely for the duration of your time that you stay here and your kids get all these benefits and all these other things while Americans are sitting on the sidelines holding their tanks, you know what I'm saying? Trying to scrape a fucking couple nickels together to feed the kids, pay the bills, get to work, buy the metro card and anything else under the sun you know what i'm saying and we still gotta foot the bill for y'all motherfuckers so you can just sit on your ass because you can't figure it out in life while you deplete our resources deplete our fucking uh finances and uh don't really contribute to our economy at the end of the day because by default you're gonna send all your money back to your country you know what i'm saying so you can help your people so you're not really here for political asylum you're here for financial gain and these motherfuckers are abusing the system at the end of the day you know what i'm saying they're freeloaders dog you give motherfuckers an inch and they take a mile. But anyhow, I'm going to digress. Let's get into some of these uh, current events surrounding these uh, illegal immigrants. You know what I'm saying? And then let's come on back. Bragg has been facing growing criticism for allowing the suspects to be released without bail. So far, six men have been charged with felonies. Only one is being held in Rikers. Four of the suspects are believed to have fled the state. They're on the lam somewhere. The move comes after reports of crimes attributed to migrants. People getting their phones or purses snatched and dragged to the ground as suspects speed away in scooters. Last week, police arrested multiple men after a deadly stabbing at the migrant shelter. A teenager from Columbia who is already wanted for at least one robbery. They say he is the boy in white who drew a gun and fired into a crowded store. Responding officers chased the boy with the gun uh, for about five blocks before the boy wheels around and fires a shot at them. Last night, two suspects were arraigned in part of an organized migrant robbery ring. One migrant was held on a $10,000 cash bond bail and charged with six counts of grand larceny. Meanwhile, New York's governor now slamming the situation at the border. It is too open right now. Uh, people coming from all over the world are finding their way through simply saying they need asylum. And now all these Democrats 
had leaders like Governor Hoko, Mayor Adams, this one, that one. They're all trying to cover their ass now. Oh, oh, the border's too open. You think you're fucking genius? You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, are you going to say, hey, you know what? In this current situation, let's change the status of this sanctuary city shit in New York. You know what I'm saying? Let's shut that down. You ain't got no ends in me, casa, son. You know what I'm saying? Take your ass over there. There, there, wherever the fuck. Just not here, because we ain't got time for that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But they're not going to do that, because the Democrats, at the end of the day, they want to naturalize all these motherfuckers coming in here. By the end of this guy's uh, presidency, Sleepy Joe, there'll be 10, 12, 15 million motherfuckers in here, and then they'll pad their votes so they can hold office and stay in power. They don't give a fuck about the Americans, because Trump uh, got in the office. They feel like the Americans slighted them. They don't trust us anymore, so they got to get all these fucking Americans immigrants in here because if you look at those videos from the border they're all praising joe biden he's the best president best thing since sliced bread they love that motherfucker so it's simple to see it's simple science you know what i'm saying but let's hear from these uh migrants immigrants illegal aliens whatever you want to call them let's hear from the horse's mouth why are they coming up here it's pretty obvious because we're giving them fucking everything but basically let's hear from them somebody recommended me to come in here because i can get the idea of the city I can get the Medicaid, and I can have also a shelter where I can live. Orlando tells us he came to New York because he heard about the social services the city would offer to migrants like himself. How long time you here in the United States? Seven months. Seven months? And how time you stay here? Seven months. If you are a new immigrant, you are a newcomer, the best city to, to you to live is in New York. Hasta ahí for seven months quedándose. Sí. Y es gratis, ¿cierto? So now we know why all these people are coming up here by the fucking caravans. You know what I'm saying? 200,000, over 200,000 motherfuckers have touched down in New York City. It's basically the word is out there in the world that New York City is a big thing that you could come block. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to give you whatever the fuck you want. You know what I mean? You heard it from them yourselves. You know what I mean? But, um... We know why they're coming here now. Basically for a bunch of fucking free handouts in a new life. You know what I'm saying? Claiming political asylum. And we know what they're doing once they get here and they can't work and they kind of don't want to fall in line. You know what I'm saying? They're out here being criminals. Um, they're doing crazy shit. And they're uh, basically terrorizing New Yorkers in broad daylight. You know what I'm saying? But now I want to know what's going on in these shelters. Are they model citizens? Are they making their beds? Are they cleaning the rooms? Are they fucking following the rules? Are they showing up on time? Or is that shit off the hook as well? Let's check it out. The chaos that we see at the road today is compiled by migrants being drunk, drinking all day, smoking marijuana, consuming drugs, domestic violence, people having sex in the stairs, young people. The form in which they keep their rooms is horrendous. And you see children by themselves without their parents in th these hotel rooms? It's an everyday thing. Every day we find about 10 kids alone in their hotel rooms, either drinking or doing drugs, uh, with uh, weapons will be in the room, but we're not allowed to go in there. We're not allowed to take anything from them. And it's basically a free for all. Monday, following this weekend, the entire hotel will be rented out to migrants and taxpayers. They are footing the bill. So this is a 50 story tall hotel. It has won the right to house migrants for $190 a night per room. That's around $100,000 a day. It's the tallest holiday inn, and it also has a tall problem. The hotel is bankrupt following the pandemic, but with this deal, they're helping with that situation. The contract lasts until April 2024. If migrants are still in the rooms past then, taxpayers will be paying $750 per night for each room. So you see what's going on in the hotels. Pandemonium. These motherfuckers are doing what they want, and they're terrorizing the people in the hotels. You know what I'm saying? Fuck up out of here. This is all shit. Oh, you better fall back. You know what I'm saying? I'll twist your beer cap early, son. Slow it down, right? Now... What's going to go on when the city eventually runs out of funding, resources, things that are allocated? As you can see, the president, who's a Democrat, is telling them all to go 
rock themselves. You know what I'm saying? You better lay down, go along with the motherfucking agenda because there's a bigger plan. Because like I said, they want to naturalize all these people, get them their papers, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, have this shit moving at God speed, jet set all this, you know what I mean? So by the time the next election and the next election comes around, you got another 8, 9, 10 million votes, you know what I'm saying? Just sitting there waiting for you. But like I said, we're going to run out of money eventually, so what's going to happen? Budget cuts, sanitation, the police, after school programs, yada, 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 yada. You know what I'm saying? I thought of all this when initially they started uh, preaching this shit to us that we were going to take care of the fucking migrants. I said, how? You know what I'm saying? And then when we run out of money, where are we going to get it from? So let's get into that right now. You can uh, hear for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because you might not believe Uncle Nick. Adams implemented major 5% budget cuts that slashed billions from city programs. A big concern is how these cuts will impact education. The first round of cuts are already slashed $120 million from the Universal Pre-K program and nearly $20 million in funding for Summer Rising, the free summer school program. Now a new warning, a thousand miles away in New York City, where officials tell us resources are overwhelmed. And most of the visits to the taxpayer-funded legal clinic here are by migrants. Randy Redkin from New York's Legal Assistance Group says so many migrants are asking for legal help on asylum representation and health care access. Now, she says... American citizens who need legal assistance with issues like eviction and insurance have to wait up to 10 weeks. Even Ray Charles can see that this is a bad situation. You know what I'm saying? We don't have the money to take care of these people. And now we're slashing our city budget, taking away from kids, taking away from the elderly, taking away, uh, you know, social services and resources that are allocated for our citizens, for the Americans to take care of these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, do you think that they're thankful? You know what I mean? You think that they're trying to save up to get an apartment or, you know, further their uh, American experience in a positive fashion. No, they're out here buying cars. They're out here doing what the fuck they want. They're buying uh, fancy clothes and shit like that. And if you don't believe me, let's go to exhibit A. You know what I'm saying? This shit is really disgusting at the end of the day. You're over here buying cars and now we got to pay tow trucks to go to the shelter to repo your cars. A Democrat New York lawmaker sharing this video of cars actually belonging to New York migrants being towed from the tent shelter where they are staying. It seems like they are having more resources than the average American. So, you know, we deserve answers. Our taxpayers deserve answers. Um, it's it's not right. Now I've presented a lot of evidence to uh, support my case and rationalize, you know what I'm saying, my uh, training of thought at this current moment in time, you know what I mean? The borders need to be closed. That's it, you know what I'm saying? Shut that shit the fuck down like Trump did, you know what I mean? And have people coming over here in an orderly fashion so we can maintain this, you know what I'm saying? This is off the hook right now, but it's done by design, you know what I mean? Shut the fucking border down. Uh, uh, enough of this, oh, we're doing this bipartisan bill and this and that. No, you're trying to slip a bunch of shit in so you can naturalize all these people so more motherfuckers come over here and the situation won't be fixed. It'll just fucking keep flowing, you know what I'm saying? And basically, there won't be all these hitches in the way where people are just sitting around and can't do this and can't do that, and now it becomes a fucking debacle, you know what I'm saying? You think this will fucking change things, but it won't. It's only going to make the situation worse. There's a reason why we have borders. There's a reason why you don't let everybody in your goddamn house, you know what I'm saying? You lock your motherfucking door. You got a gate. You got something going on to protect the perimeters, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you can't just have anybody uh, waltzing into your uh, humble abode, you know what I mean? And you got to protect yourself. So the borders need to get shut the fuck down and we need to change this sanctuary city status if you're a new yorker and you need a place to stay that's fine every other city that's not a sanctuary city has homeless shelters has services uh, uh and takes care of their um you know people in need you know what i'm saying you don't need to have this special clarification or status you know what i'm saying where motherfuckers are able to come over here just use the loophole and exploit the situation and then we gotta pay for it and then you tell us to go fuck ourselves you know what i'm saying oh these people need this these people need that and they're fucking buying cars, they're buying designer clothes, they're shooting up Times Square, they're stealing shit, they're terrorizing the hotel workers, terrorizing fucking New Yorkers, you know what I'm saying? This isn't what we signed up for, and this isn't what we want, because we got our own criminals, we got our own crazy people, we got our own teenagers to save, we got our own babies to raise, we got our own bills to pay, and we got our own city to maintain, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, the free ride needs to stop. 
Like back in the days, you want to come over here, you're an illegal immigrant, you might got to sleep in the park for a couple fucking months, you know what I'm saying? Save some money, rent the room, eventually you meet some fucking girl or something like that, you know what I mean? Y'all get together, maybe y'all get a little bit of a place, a couple years goes by, you save a little fucking money, maybe you have a little fucking baby or something like that, and you know what I'm saying? You move to New Jersey, in the suburbs or something, you get a better place than you had, you know what I'm saying, when you was living in the hood or wherever the fuck you were at, and you start to manifest the American dream through hard work, dedication, following the fucking rules, not breaking the goddamn law, and loving America. But I'm gonna leave it on that note, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna uh, let the good brother give y'all a piece of his mind, you know what I'm saying? But make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you like the video, let me know what y'all thinking in the comments section. I'll get out there in the motherfucking streets and we'll do some more of these, you know what I'm saying? But I felt like addressing this, being honest, and just being forthcoming with my audience and fellow New Yorkers and proud motherfucking America. But until the next video, y'all be safe, be cool, be easy. Don't do anything stupid on the fucking internet or in these goddamn streets. And I'll see everybody soon. Peace. They're ungrateful. Uh, they really don't want to be here. They've been uprooted from their families. Some of these Democratic advocates who advocated for the migrants to come now have realized that some of the migrants are raping their employees at the hotel. They reached out to Mary Adams, said, this is, this is unacceptable. Our workers are being threatened. We've got to get this under control. Crime is being committed. Drugs are being are smoked in the hotel. And they're having sex in the stairwell. It's just so out of control. And you're talking about 2,000 people being set up in a tent in certain parts. You're talking about retrofitting soccer fields where high school kids would play football um, to accommodate more of these migrants. And a lot of the parents said, we don't want our kids exposed to this. It's just too dangerous. And there are too many unknowns about who exactly we're giving attention to.